And some speed testing, man. I haven't done any drive testing in a long time. And uh, I think we are due. So that's what we're doing. And uh, let me go ahead and tell you guys what's going on for the testing today. We're testing all networks on the Samsung Galaxy S24. So we got us an updated device. Uh, we're going to start with AT&T. And then we're going to probably go to Verizon next. And then we'll do... T-Mobile right after that and uh, the reason I want to do this testing it's just been a while you know uh, so I'm gonna just do a route uh, the routes probably gonna be like I don't know probably 20 miles or something round trip and you know we'll see how the carriers are doing where what is it like 10 30 in the morning or something so we got early early day testing it's uh, we should see lots of capacity and lots of throughput from each of the carriers and this is kind of like an updated network experience because I used to speed test networks all the time on live stream. And I haven't really done this in a long time. And a lot has changed, right? T-Mobile has scaled the N41 completely. Uh, Verizon has scaled the N77 piece completely. And so has AT&T, at least in my market. So I'm just testing them all. Uh, we're basically going to take a look at, you know, who's got who's got a lot of capacity on there, who's got coverage gaps, you know, who's relying mostly on mid-band, you know, throughout more of their, their testing, who's relying a lot on low-band, right, so we can get an idea of who's got the densification. And, of course, we're just outdoor testing. We're not going to take the show indoors. But, uh, yeah, that's what we got going on. So we're going to test the big three. I can't test Dish Native because they messed up my whole SIM provisioning. So now I'm on AT&T, you know, dish access, whatever. So it kind of sucks. Anyways, I just ran a speed test here on AT&T. We're connected to the 5G plus N77 here. They have 80 megahertz of C-band and they have 40 megahertz of the DOD. So it's, uh, it's two frequencies combined for 120 megahertz. And uh, what do we get? Like 436 down and about 12 megabits up. A little bit of jitter there, nothing crazy, still pretty good. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll try to test like every half mile or so, maybe every quarter mile, we'll see how this goes here. Uh, so yeah, we're on the AT&T network, I'm on a business account, uh, so we should have some pretty good priority. In my experience, in my market, AT&T doesn't really have any congestion issues, right? Uh, let me see if I can close this off. Oh, that's that's a glare coming from the window. Sorry, guys. Um, not sure if I can really change that, but you should be able to see the speeds okay. And we got rough roads in Cleveland, so you guys are feeling and hearing all the bumps. <laughs> uh, man. Uh, we're not too far from the airport. We're probably three miles from the airport. We're pretty close. Uh, we're right on the edge of the Cleveland Metro Parks, and uh, this is an area that is very residential does have apartments does have some business so we're in a district that's pretty mixed development well populated lots of usage you know so the network should be pretty fast here uh second test for at&t came in weak the download is fine 275 but the uplink under one megabit per second so that's that's weak sauce but we were connected to 5g plus when we took that test so maybe getting on the lower frequencies can get us some better uplink and i'll be uh I'll be checking you guys out periodically throughout the chat uh, as I'm kind of doing this, uh, especially when I get the opportunity to kind of stop and do some sim changes. Uh, we are we just turned on Puritus, and I think this is uh, I think this is Great and Road. Just so you guys know, there's some condos to my left. There's some homes, and uh, here's our second te third test. All right, so 173 down and 2.78 on the up. We do have some pretty damn high loaded latency for the downlink. 10,355 milliseconds. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that. Come on, AT&T, do better. What's up with that? <laughs> that's crazy. The ping's at 54. Jitter's at 17. I don't know. That's a pretty bad test here. All right, so we are headed south on Grayton. We're moving towards I-480, the interstate, which is... Uh, if we keep going past that, we'll be right at the airport. All right.
right, so uh, it says 5G. We'll see if it moves to 5G+. Plus. Yeah. AT&T's got a pretty nice coverage blanket of 5G+, plus here. I know some people are kind of down on the AT&T network. I'm not one of them because the network is very, very good here. You guys will see when you're, when you're connected to it, it flies. What up, Oceanic Vibes? Yeah, man, that's uh, the whole sim situation with, with Dish is kind of crazy. All right, 785 on the downlink and 63 on the uplink. This test a lot faster. I'll show you guys the tower site that we're connected to once I get a little closer. Uh, it's pretty close. We're like a quarter mile from the site, probably. Maybe a third of a mile. All right, and we're, we're just now getting towards like I-480. And this is the connecting freeway to the airport. Uh, and I'll see if I can show you guys the tower site there. I don't know if you guys can see it in the background. Try to focus there. It's back there. Oh, man, it won't focus. That's terrible. Anyways, we're we're very close. And you guys will see the throughput to match, right? All right, so 891 down and 103 on the uplink. We just hit a Sneed Mobile Tech first. AT&T getting 100 plus megabits on uplink. Never seen that before. I have not. <laughs> I have not seen that before. That is a first. That is incredible. That is awesome. Let's see if we can hit a gigabit. Maybe. Because I know that this site for sure. Because at and is the ILIC here. I know that they've got multi-gig circuits here. Fiber access. They run all their own fiber. They do enterprise. They do, you know, business. Small business. Large business. And they, uh, of course, for themselves, fiber to the premise. They do a lot of that here as well. All right, 672 on the downlink, 72 on the uplink. We got a little bit of jitter in the testing so far. That's kind of disappointing. Although I will tell you guys, when I use AT&T, I don't, I don't sense any instability. I don't feel any unusual issues with that connection. So uh, probably not enough to really make a difference. Uh, let's see here. What else? Anything else on that test? No, everything looks pretty good. Ping time's at 33, loaded. It's at 489 and 147. Yeah, so that's a pretty good test there. Uh, we are at the airport. You guys will see. Cleveland Hopkins International Airport. Right there. Got some of the hangars and stuff like that. So uh, we are driving by the airport. Yo, shout out to EM Tech. <laughs> Just hit me up. Yeah, we'll be ready, bruh. We'll be ready for the Patreon stream. You know what I'll do, man? I can I can pull up another phone so I can see the chat better. Because right now my recording device, my streaming device, is kinda kinda angled so I can't really see the chat. What up, Bold? I know, Oceanic Vibes, 100 megabit uplink, I'm telling you, man. I do see a lot with uh, Verizon in my market, and uh, sometimes I see it with T-Mobile at all here. <laughs> yeah, man, that's, that's rough. Uh, let's do this. Let's go to settings, connections, and manager. We're on the Samsung Galaxy S24, folks. So for those of you familiar with the interface, that's what we're doing right now. Bobby says I get ultra wide near my house. Cool, man. It's a good connection. When is Verizon going to reach 300 million pops for ultra wide band nationwide? I don't know, man. I don't think they're that close yet. I don't think that's going to happen until next year. I think this year they probably close in on 275 without a doubt. Um, so that's and that's exciting. And I think that's 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 a worthy, you know, milestone. They get to maybe 275. Uh, the pops get harder to cover. You know what I mean? If they got to 280, I'd say that's a small miracle. <laughs> All right, guys. Now, listen. Or, you know what? Let me let me go ahead and restart the phone so that way it shows 5G UC. For those of you that don't know how the galaxies work, if you don't restart the phone and allow the firmware to kind of um, reboot or whatever it'll continue to say whatever the old Sims technologies are. So it, it would have been saying 5G plus for uh, T-Mobile. So I'm gonna just go ahead and restart the phone. You'll see it's 
power down now. Should should reboot shortly. Hey, what up, cool technology? Um, what are you testing in? Uh, my car. Uh, got the Volvo Easy, homie. You know what time it is. Uh, we just in Cleveland for the past few days and found a decent amount of multi-gig. Yeah, so it just depends on the side of town. Uh, there's probably certain parts of town where they're good with one gig and they don't need more. And then there's certain parts of town where they have the market share, especially in places where they have a lot of metro share, right? Dude, it's restarting again. Are you serious? I restarted it on purpose. Come on, man. Uh, let's see here. To do. Found a decent amount of I-77 north of 480. North of 480. I said, oh yeah, you would see it there. Yeah, absolutely, by Independence. Yeah, for sure. Parma, Independence, and actually, I'm 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 real close to there. Um, cool technology. I'm really really close to there. Uh, Jose, what's not reliable in Cleveland? Which network? They're all pretty reliable in my opinion. I've been testing them for years. I don't know. Or unless you're from Cleveland and you found some areas that are troubled. I look all the time. I don't find many. Wolstein Center was doing a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's downtown for sure. Yeah, T-Mobile's going to put the multi-gig fiber circuits downtown. Slow down to 300. Still plenty good. Absolutely. Mason said, in my area, 5G plus is very high. What does this mean? Are they getting mid-band? I don't know what that means by high. All right, here's our first test on T-Mobile. You'll see the 5G UC icon up right-hand corner. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get moving here. Oh, let me let that Jeep go by. Where's the zoom on this? All right, first test from T-Mobile. We got a 17 ping, a four jitter, 131 on the downlink, 54 on the uplink. Surprised to see that downlink so slow, honestly, but the uplink looks plenty good. Uh, not that that's a slow downlink, but um, I mean, look at those loaded pings look great. 64 and 169 respectively, that's pretty good. Maybe it's because we just switched the sims. Let's go ahead and test again. That might just be a lot of usage, man. I don't know. Again, I don't really know this area in terms of the T-Mobile home internet usage and adoption. I just don't know. I mean, I guess we could <laughs> drive by some of the homes and turn our Wi-Fi settings on and see if we could find it. But it says 5G UC. So here, uh, T-Mobile's 5G UC is 180 megahertz of N41. 180 and then they've got usually three uh two other channels it'll be uh you know 10 or 15 megahertz of n71 and then 20 megahertz of n25 so i'm kind of shocked to see it that slow i i mean unless there's just ms usage maybe uh, let me see if i can get you guys yep we're on the brightest so let's test again Man, I haven't been out in these parts in a while, man. Looks like we got us a high-usage tower site. I think that's all it is. Maybe they got some uh, home internet adoption. Maybe they're on a single gig fiber circuit. I don't know. But uh, it's, it's fine. It's good. No issues. Not the greatest. Not what I typically see from T-Mobile, to be honest with you guys. I usually see much faster speeds than this. So, And the signal's strong. So, I don't know. 156 down, 8 up. 20 ping, 48 on the loaded ping, 719 for the upload loaded ping. 3 jitter. So, we got nice, stable connections. Just not seeing that crazy throughput I'm used to. Usually, we see like 600 megabit plus. All right. I don't know. Maybe we'll, we'll see a change when we get on a different tower, possibly. Samsung Galaxy S24, we're on a T-Mobile Magenta business line. 
And uh, what you guys are seeing is um, testing in, uh, I think we're in Parma Heights right now. I don't know if we crossed over the border. There's the tower. All right, and the Verizon Tower too by a baseball stadium. We got these huge towers. I do see some microwave, but that's probably not for them. Here's some apartments. Yeah, we got towers all over the place, those candy cane towers. Let's go ahead and run it for T-Mobile again. Uh, this is test number three officially from T-Mobile. Yeah, those aren't... The cell tower gear is way lower than uh, whatever the hell is up at the top, that uh, the ham radio stuff or whatever, different communications. I don't know. There we go. That's the T-Mobile I know. <laughs> Yeah, so it looks like that one tower site was just high usage. All right, 688 down, 108 on the up. That's blazing fast. That's really good. Looks like we are on a possibly, maybe, a multi-gig circuit. It's possible. Uh, we shall see. Uh, 22 ping. That's good. 5 jitter. That's good. I think I see the tower site. Uh, now let's go ahead and run another test since we're close to it. I think we're driving towards it. Yeah, let me get you guys a view. Yeah, I think that is. That's it. All right, where are we? Where are we? Pleasant Valley Road. Show you guys the tower. Is that T-Mobile? You guys can see it's a pretty tall site. Right there. Oh, nope, that's Verizon. <laughs> that's a Verizon site. That is not T-Mobile, but it is an upgraded site. I can see all the radios attached to the pole. Uh, but um, T-Mobile's pretty close. 682 down and 40 on the up for T-Mobile. Let's see what else here. Yeah, we're on West Pleasant Valley Road and State Road. Those you keeping tracks on the maps. I really had to do this, guys. You know, it, the networks are all upgraded now. Everybody's got bandwidth. You know, Verizon's got N77 and C-band. AT&T's got N77, C-band and DoD. You know, I, I mean, it's just now that the networks are fully upgraded, we get to see who's doing what, you know? And the, the networks are pretty modern now. You know, all the sites got all the gear from all the carriers. Rage and Dusty said, Verizon still sucks in Jackman, Maine. But that's changing soon. Yeah, hopefully they build some sites and upgrade some sites, right? Also got to let the phone marinate. The first speed test is garbage. I mean, yeah, man, I think that is a factor. I've noticed that too, man. Got to let it marinate, you know? <laughs> uh, that last T-Mobile speed test was 306 down and 9.5 on the up. All right, that's pretty good. Um, maybe that's edge cell for 5G UC. That's pretty good for edge cell. Now, the problem with this, right? You take that T-Mobile connection where we did that last speed test and you go indoors and that uplink is going to tank. You're going to want to get off of that 5G UC, right? You'd probably rather be on N71 or N25 just for the sake of like your video calls and stuff like that that require more uplink. So something to consider when you guys think about connections. Uh, where are we? What street is this? York? Uh, West Sprague. T-Mobile firmware buggy in my experience. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't really seen see much of an issue myself i usually see the four carrier setup i haven't seen it fail uh, the only time i see issues with the four carrier aggregation setup is when n41 cuts out and then you're you're on the n25 and n71 but that's not really a problem that's just lower frequencies being more available right so density here shouldn't be a problem though we should be should be golden for t-mobile n41 should be ubiquitous Yep, back on 5G UC. And by the way, for those of you that don't know, didn't catch my video on this, if you are connecting to 30 megahertz of bandwidth, 
on T-Mobile. So even if it's not N41, let's say you got 20 megahertz of N25 and 10 megahertz of N71, it'll show 5G UC if you have 30 megahertz of combined bandwidth. You are not necessarily connected to N41. I know it's crazy, but they'll do that. And the speeds could be good. I mean, it could be 200 megabits, you know, stuff like that. All right, 313 on the downlink, 15 on the uplink. We got six jitter, 21 ping. You guys notice that the pings on T-Mobile are better than AT&T's on Ookla? On Ookla. I think that's important to note because, you know, sometimes I feel like maybe T-Mobile might be kind of making that connection uh, enhanced for speed t- <laughs> for the speed testing. And I, I don't think AT&T cares all that much, you know. But they're both good. All right, so far testing's been really good from the carriers. I see a big macro on the horizon. Let's go check it out. Oh, it's huge. Huge macro. Looks like all the carriers are on it, too. And that is a big one. Let's see who's up there. Find a place. Oh, and it's got a big old microwave dish on it. All right, AT&T is at the top. Uh... Who else is on there? Verizon and AT&T. Here, I'll pull in for you guys. I don't know where the T-Mobile's got a serving cell nearby. Uh, what street is this? Wallings Road? Look at that t- tower site, guys. Yep. Yeah. All right, so for those of you that don't know what the gear looks like, let me show you guys. All right, so... Um... Uh, can I do this? Okay, right here, I don't know who that is. Right here, those little sticks, I don't know who that is. Maybe old Sprint. Verizon, and then AT&T at the top. Okay? That's what the stuff looks like. But no T-Mobile up there. And for those of you that have never seen the bottom of a cell tower, uh, you got yourself that little shed thing. What do they call that? The enclosure. <laughs> Uh, you can see all the fiber and see all the connections. I don't know if I see a backup generator there. Should be one. Both Verizon and AT&T usually run generators. You guys see any generators? Battery backup, maybe. Anyway. Usually I see generators. from. How's the stream been, by the way, guys? I'm going to take a little break here. How's the stream been? We've been streaming on Verizon. Oh, dang, we got 74 people on the live stream. What up, y'alls? Thanks for tuning in. Please do like and share this video. That does help out the channel. And if you guys want to send super chats, awesome. I appreciate it. That does help support the content. We're over here wearing tear on the vehicle. We're burning our fuel and such, you know. <laughs> And YouTube, uh, you know, does YouTube things with monetization. So let's see here. Let's give this another test. I wonder where the T-Mobile site is. I don't see it around here, but the speeds are really good. Might have a multi-gig fiber circuit here on this site. Streams doing great, yeah, man. I like uh, I like Verizon when it comes to the streaming quality. It does a really good job of that task. You know when I knew Verizon was really good for streaming here in my market, I wasn't even streaming on Verizon actually. Well, I mean, I was on the Verizon network, but um, I was actually using Visible on an iPhone 11, right? And then back then it was like LT only. I mean, it was an LT only phone anyways. Visible was only letting customers connect to LTE and it was flawless I mean we went all over the place I don't know if you guys remember that stream for those of you the the OGs I took I took I think maybe a 50 or 60 mile trip just going south right so like leaving Cuyahoga County going through Medina County and I think I think it was probably the next county over so we went through we drove through like two counties and Visible was phenomenal on the stream. I think it was like one hiccup and it was like right when we went from Cuyahoga into Medina County, possibly. And like, it was perfect the rest of the way. So that that was when I knew 
like Verizon was goaded for streaming in my market because I mean you got no priority you're at the bottom tier and it was still good stream is nice thank you guys I mean, I could stream on AT&T, too. I did many live streams on FirstNet. I did many live streams on AT&T, and it was pretty good. The only carrier historically that has given me problems with live streaming is T-Mobile. You know, I, I, it's just something that has been a problem for a long time. I don't know if they've figured out, you know, how to make that better or whatever. I don't know what the cause of the issue is. But, I mean, I, I remember I was at the bakery, and I was live. I... I I did a speed test. I had 50 megabit uplink on T-Mobile. I did a, a live stream and it failed. It literally disconnected after like 38 seconds. All right, we got another site here for you guys. It's the T-Mobile site. Uh, this one has AT&T at the top, Verizon underneath that, and then uh, T-Mobile is at the bottom. And that would explain why we got 700 down and 113 up on T-Mobile. That's pretty good. And we're on the corner of Royalton Road. And um, where's that site? There it is. T-Mobile's at the bottom. Verizon's in the middle. And then some huge microwave going on there for a couple carriers. AT&T's at the top. All right, so I don't know. You guys think this is a multi-gig circuit? 700 down, 113 up? I don't know. Uh, maybe there's just usage on it. Maybe it does over a gig. Maybe. Uh, we're on State Road and Royalton Road. Just to give you guys a location update. There we go. Uh, we got our first gig speed test on T-Mobile. Woohoo! All right, there is a 10 gig fiber circuit to that site, 100%. That's exciting. Damn, that is fast. Yes, sir. Look at that. <laughs> we got speed, buddy. 19 ping, 41 jitter, 1.3 gigs on the downlink, 141 megabits per second on the uplink that is phenomenal absolutely tremendous see there's a confirmed multi-gig fiber circuit for t-mobile that's fantastic yeah, really really good now we've uh created a little bit of distance right let's see how far we can go with it still being fast so far so good we're still at about a gig that's cool we're like a quarter mile away And I think we are heading west on State Road. We've got some power lines going over us. What freeway is this? 77, maybe? Just passed over the 77 overpass. All right, 982 down, 35 up. You see that uplink's gone. <laughs> Telling you guys, N41 with distance not the move it, it really falls off fast it's still fine it, it just it loses a lot of a lot of oomph at any type of range let's do another one we're about a half mile away almost a mile maybe yeah see we lost a lot of throughput all right we're approaching edgerton road in state just 2.5 things <laughs> Yep, and then we got a hawk hawking. Dude, I love hawks, man. Hawks hawking, bro. Yeah, they've been active lately. All right, so we're like a mile away. We're outdoors, right? We're moving 296 down, 6.45 up. That N41, I'm telling you guys, at least I can speak to the Nokia radio gear. It is just, just loses a lot of oomph with any type of range. Uh, let's see. We're still on the 5G UC. We lost a lot of throughput. We're at about a mile range from that tower site. I see AT&T fiber pedestals and boxes around here. So they're definitely going to be hooking up these folks with AT&T fiber. Looks like a new neighborhood build to my left. Oh, come on. Yeah. So AT&T got in there and installed some fiber. Nice part of town, actually. Pine Stream. We got a little pond out. Looks like a, like a retention pond of some sort. All right, so we're on edge cell for N41. We got 181 down. We got under a megabit on the up. The N41 uplink, I'm telling you guys, it's a tough situation. 
stream cutting out? Uh-oh. <laughs> Maybe we're on the edge cell for all carriers. Uh, we're approaching Caddy Road. All right, looks like we just moved over to a new T-Mobile site. We just hand it off. Uh, 415 on the downlink. And we're at like 2 on the uplink. Looks like some new neighborhood builds over here. Four fifteen down, one point eight up. Stream good now. What up, Josh? What's going on, man? Choppity chop. Yeah, looks like we had our hit an edge cell for Verizon. We're streaming on the big red. Probably gonna switch over to AT and T, um, just so we can test Verizon next. But uh, things looking pretty good for for T-Mobile. Just a little bit of N forty one uplink weakness per use. All right, now we're in the city of North Royalton. I'm passing over Route ninety four. I don't know if you guys know the area, but uh, we're probably like twenty miles south of Cleveland proper. Right, so we're actually logging a lot more miles than I thought I would for this test, but we're cool, we're good, I'm chilling. I do have to do uh, get to the Patreon, get to the Patreon stream at 12 o'clock, so I'm gonna have to end the stream eventually. Oh man, we're on edge for sure. Shows 5G UC, got 112 down, and we're under one megabit up. Uh oh. Yeah, so that's some that's some N forty one uplink weakness, man. And that's if they don't have good density, it's it's gonna perform like this. This is what you guys are seeing, and we're kind of I don't want to say we're out in the sticks. We kind of are. Uh, it's it's all resident. You know, this is and this is what Ohio looks like through most of it. <laughs> it's just houses, yeah. Just homes, woods, ponds. Hinkley Hills Golf Course. I have no idea. Never been here. There's a nice little retention pond. <laughs> yeah, T-Mobile not so great. Oh, this is a, something you also see in Ohio. You see tractors just driving up the street. <laughs> uh, come on, man. Go around, bro. Ironwood Golf Course. So it's all gar golf courses out here. I wonder if anybody's out here. If anybody's out here playing golf. Uh, damn, I really should have washed the car, man. These windows are filthy. Yeah, let's see if things improved on T-Mobile before we switch over to Verizon. Ohio moment. <laughs> uh, most be on LT with the stream. All right, looks like we got another multi-gig circuit. That's two of them. I can see the tower site from here, too. It's a big one. It's a big old boy. All right, one gig on the downlink, 1,029 megs. Jitter's at five, ping's at 39. There's a 45 for uplink. All right, so that's a good test. We're driving towards a tower site. If you guys can see that there, one of them big old ones off the interstate probably or something. What are those? Oh, damn. What are those? Vultures. We got vultures, yo. Turkey vultures. <laughs> yo, they hawking out here too, man. Hawks. Man, stuck behind this daggone tractor. Come on, bro. <laughs> All right, last test on T-Mobile and we're going to switch up. All right, these people got horses over here. All right, the tractor's out of here. That thing transform into Optimus or something, bro? Yeah, that's pretty slick. They got a one gig, uh, 10 gig fiber circuit out here for T-Mobile on this site. Got solid performance as we get closer to the site. What the hell? How are you gonna get 1.1 gigs down and a half a meg up? What is that? What? You guys ever see this? <laughs> Elon says birds are not real. What are they then? They're fake. All right. First time I've ever seen it, guys. <laughs> Happened on T-Mobile. 
1.1 gigs on the downlink, half a meg on the uplink. <laughs> I had never seen that before, man. That is a new shit right there. Seriously. All right. Let's see here. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pull off here, and we're going to get the Verizon SIM in, and then uh, we're going to do some Verizon testing. <laughs> Yo, if you guys want to screenshot that and share that on Twitter, I'm sure the folks will have a field day with that. <laughs> Can't beat that with a stick, huh? That is crazy. You guys ever see that before? You ever seen that type of throughput for downlink, but not on uplink at all? I mean, that, that uplink's basically useless. All right, let me pull in here. I see a blinking red. <laughs> EM said, I'm not surprised. Is it night and day, Renee? Yeah. Just T-Mobile things, brother. <laughs> Yo, EM's put it on thick today, guys. Letting you know right now. Oh, man. Here, let's pull into this church. Let's pull into this church. I'm going to switch these SIM cards. All right. Let's go ahead and get this definitively better. All right, what I'm going to do is, for the sake of the speed testing, guys, I'm actually going to switch the stream. We're going to switch to Project Genesis, Boost Infinite, AT&T. Um, because I don't want the, the stream to get ruined by the testing. So, okay, Hotspot is on. Let me go ahead and do this. Make sure I don't connect to that. Hotspot is on. Let me see. And by the way, tell me what happens here. We just switched to the Pixel Wi-Fi, the mobile hotspot. You guys will see. We got the hotspot icon there. Um, so basically the, the stream just switched from Verizon to AT&T internet access on Boost Infinite Project Genesis. And I'm gonna take a look. I'm gonna actually pull up the stream here to see how it looks. Looks good to me. Yeah, stream looks good actually. Solid, okay, cool. All right, let's get it. First test on Verizon. We are connected to the 5G Ultra Wideband, so that's cool. So this, for those of you that are just coming into the stream, please do like and share. Thank you, guys. Um, Verizon has 140 megahertz of N77 C-band here. Uh, with that connection, you're probably seeing 5 megahertz of band 2, 20 megahertz of band 66. Uh, with the low band, you're either getting 10 megahertz of band 13 or... I think it's I'm trying to remember if it's 20 megahertz of band five right so it's one or the other um typically it's the band five uh they 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 like to keep all things band 13 lte so <laughs> ed who was holding on the stream for the first couple phases of testing let's run another test here uh we'll, we'll give you guys an update on the location we're still on state road what is this center road all right so now we're kind of in the middle of nowhere i don't know where we are actually let's route 303 you guys could see these types of roads here in ohio once you get outside of cleveland this is what you're dealing with these are little hilly little wooded people got farms out here yo <laughs> Whoa, that was it's farms and trees straight up. Once you get outside of Cleveland and Columbus, it's farms and, and woods. It's quiet. We'll tell you guys that. But Verizon looks to be serving us well, guys. Wow, look at the ultra wideband go. Uh, 29 ping, 6 jitter. 
695 down. We're in the 30s on the uplink. God, my ears are popping, man. That's pretty steep. Wow, man, my ears are blasted right now. Steep ass hill. Yeah, so that's pretty good. I don't know if Verizon's got a multi-gig circuit on that site from that test. I don't know how far we are, but that's good throughput. Hey, what are we passing? Yep, that's Ohio for you guys. You get out of Cleveland. That's what it is. <laughs> Come on, focus, iPhone. North Royal, 10, 5 miles. So we've driven 5 miles from the T-Mobile testing. Where it basically started. This is, oh, there's the tower. That thing is freaking huge, man. Look at how tall those towers are. You can actually see them over the tree line. Come on, focus. Oh, they're back there. Now we just dipped. Those are massive towers. I'm going to see if I can drive by for you guys. Huge, man. Probably 200 footers. We're at Riverwood Estates. These are all like homes on hills over here. 857 down, 68 on the up for the Verizine. Looks like we got a multi-gig fiber circuit there for Verizon. That's pretty impressive. So, big booming tower, probably stretches several miles in all directions. No need for a small cell in this area. The you know, houses are just too spread apart. There's no commercial, there's no business development. Um, but you see them cooking. 844 on the downlink, 78, 79 on the uplink. Cracked 80 there. There's the tower. Let me see if I could pull in here. All right, we are now officially in Hinkley. Uh, this is a small city that's, I don't know, probably just next city over from Medina. And that's how you would access the tower site. Okay. What the heck is this? What is going on here? See, here's the sign, right? Medina, left, 10 miles. Cleveland, right, 15 miles. Or 20 miles, whatever I just said. Uh, so we're on Ridge Road, Ridge and Center. Oh, I've tested this tower site before. Oh, I remember this. This is one of the first N77 sites I tested. I remember this site. Hell yeah. Yeah, I remember this tower site. And it was one of the first N41 sites I tested too. When they upgraded this one. And it was one of the first AT&T sites I tested for uh, N77 when they started putting up the DoD and such. Oh, man, I, I even remember pulling into this parking lot, man. I remember it was snowing, having flashbacks. All right. Um, now, at the time when I tested the site, Verizon only had 60 megahertz of N77. Today, we're at 140, and you guys will see the difference. We got a gigabit speed test, 1,077 megs, 102 on the up. Man, it's cool to be back at this site. Oh, man, that is bright as well. Ooh, there's the tower site. Huge. Uh, looks like some old gear under it, and then on the tower next to it is AT&T, and I think Dish. Oh, wow. That is impressive stuff. Boost this trash, get on proper AT&T. The Smash TV Network said I've been down this road. <laughs> yeah, Josh. Windows too dirty, man. Thought you ate it. Uh. Wow, 1.3 gigs down, 108 on the up. Yep, so, yeah, Verizon does a nice job of scaling uh, the upgrades, people. They really do. Uh, let's go ahead and get on the freeway and um, we should be able to do some Verizon testing there that's an awesome speed test isn't it so we saw a couple of those from um, we saw a couple of those from Verizon you know 800 plus 900 plus we saw a couple of those from T-Mobile uh, AT&T you guys didn't really see that right it, it's just literally the bandwidth you know what I mean it's literally the bandwidth. Yeah. 
123 gigs down, man. That is some impressive stuff. All right, let's go this way. I'm gonna go up Route 303. We'll test this site with some range. Going up this big old hill. Let's go, we have the Volvizi, yo. You don't wanna mess with the Volvizi, cause up, oh, there's a truck. <laughs> Better slow down. All right, we got another gig speed test as we drive away. And then with the topography, with that elevation, that'll kind of change performance. Ah, oh, man, we're stuck behind this truck. No. Man, he's going slow as hell. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's run another speed test here. Turbo kicking in, that's right. <laughs> and the connection is gone. Uh, looks like we're out of the sector's reach. And we got that height change, so that made a huge difference. Uh, which, where are we? Looks like another golf course. <laughs> Jeez, man. They love their golf courses. All residential out here, guys. Uh, so these, these macros, they carry all the weight. There's no small cells out here. I doubt it. Occasionally, you'll see like a Verizon small cell. It'll be older, you know, just outdated equipment, you know, stuff like that. And it'll be for coverage because it's between two cells or whatever. But uh, yeah, for the most part, it's most of the traffic is going to be carried on the, the macro cell network. All right, let's see here. 74 down and 22 up. We're off the 5G ultra wideband. Let's see if we what we got now. So we're we're on the lower frequencies. You might be on some mid band, but it's probably going to be AWS or PCS. All right, ultra wideband just kicked in, so we just hand it off to a new cell. So, yeah, this is, so we started the test off of ultra wideband. We connected to ultra wideband during the downlink part of the test, and then the uplink just caught it. I think we're driving towards the site. And we're headed towards the freeway right now. I think it's 71. Yeah, now we're on the 5G ultra wideband again. Yep. Here's West 130th Street. I'm just trying to get back to the freeway. Alright, 433 on the downlink, 39 on the uplink. Yeah, this stream a lot, a lot longer than I thought it, I would stay on for, but it was good testing, so I wanted to, you know, be thorough and everything. I think the tower site that's serving us is to our left. Looks like it's got Dish, T-Mobile, and Verizon on it. And there, this is a major, major intersection here. We're at Industrial Parkway off I-71. Uh, this is Route 303, so there's a lot of usage here. Uh, there's like five car dealerships over here. <laughs> I think there's three, but it feels like five. 595 down, 75 up. Yeah, Verizon's been pretty good in this testing. T-Mobile was pretty good. Just had the, the little bit of uplink trouble. AT&T was pretty good. Uh, there was like one bad upload test. All right, we're on 71. And we are cast up and out of here, man. 595 down, 75 up is pretty good. All right, we are on I-71, and we are going north towards Cleveland. 
speed limit here on this part of the freeway is 65. Once we get out of Medina County and back into Cuyahoga County, the speed will dip down to 60 mile per hour for a speed limit. It sucks, but that's just how it is. All right, 396 down, 49 up. All right, looks like we're going to be handing off to a new tower set, a site up here. I don't know if you guys can see. Uh, there's two of them right back there. The backdrop. Um, pretty good performance from Verizon. Uh, loaded ping doesn't look too good, though. Was that a cop over there? Come on, man. By the way, Ohio State Troopers, very aggressive. <laughs> if you are driving through Ohio, mind your P's and Q's and maintain steady speeds. <laughs> All right, guys, we just handed off to the new Verizon cell that we just passed by here. Or no, no, no. Who is that? Uh, yeah, it's a new Verizon cell. Um, take a look at the radio gear that's up there. N77, so we got the C-band up there. Do we have CBRS? Uh, yes, I do see CBRS up there. So they got the LT hooked up too. 368 down, 82 up. I don't know. I'd say that's probably not a 10 gig fiber circuit. That one's probably a one gig fiber. All right. Uh, we just passed some church. All residential. Welcome to Ohio. <laughs> it looks a lot greener in the in the spring. Like we're still kind of sort of in winter. We just got a bunch of snow. All right, folks. We're leaving Medina County. There's the sign, leaving Medina County, entering Cuyahoga County, Strongsville Corp limit. And then there's the Verizon cell site. I'll get you guys a look at that in a second. We just switched the 60 mile per hour speed limit, just like I told you guys. All residential here. Uh, the tower that we're connecting to now for Verizon is a pretty tall one i'd say it's about 150 feet tall maybe maybe 125 now that i'm getting a little closer t-mobile's on it dishes on it i do not see at&t on this one 553 down 48 up so here's what i've noticed about the verizon cell sites if you're in the city and suburbs where they have high market share um, they've got 10 gig fiber these other sites that are like off the turnpike uh, these sites that are outside of areas that that just don't require it, they won't they won't put a 10 gig fiber circuit. They don't just do 10 gig fiber to do it. They they do it where they need it. And the same thing could be said about AT and T. Same thing about T Mobile. Carriers don't just put 10 gig fiber circuits to cells. They only do it when they have to because if you're paying for the fiber circuit, it's going to be more expensive. And if you're building the fiber circuit, it requires an upgrade. Right, so you know, it's just something to think about. I know a lot of you guys are enamored by gigabit speed and all that, but sometimes it just it's not feasible. It doesn't make business sense. They don't have the demand. It's just something to be mindful of. All right, 778 on the downlink, 83 on the uplink. That's a pretty good test. That might actually be a 10 gig fiber circuit, maybe, because Verizon has really good market share here. So maybe they did have it on that site. So that's pretty impressive. That's pretty good. Uh, so now we're like that we're in Strongsville, you know, this is, these are high market share areas for Verizon. Uh, let's see here. So this is Royalton Road, Strongsville. I'm going to get off at the next exit probably. Um, so yeah, that, that's the Verizon testing for you guys. I'll test a couple more cells. Here's that serving cell. Uh, I've tested that cell for you guys before in Strongsville. Everybody's on that one. Verizon, Dish, AT&T, T-Mobile, they're all there. And they're all running big fiber circuits. 531 down and 52 up for the Verizon on there. Good speeds. That's high traffic area. That's where the South Park Mall is. I mean, that is high usage. Verizon's got like five small cells on that strip with CBRS too. Uh, they take their network very seriously in this part of town. <laughs> 525 down, 13.6 on the up. Uh, there's another cell that's up and coming here on the left-hand side. Uh, Verizon's density here is really, really impressive. Very, very good. Uh, let's see here. Is that a cop? 
The car is just like randomly off on the side. The grass. It's like veered off. <laughs> Yo. Hopefully they're okay. Alright, so we probably just switched cells. Uh, there's a cell back there by the turnpike. I don't know if you guys can tell back there, but it's there. That one I've also tested for you guys. That was one of the first upgraded sites I tested in Cleveland. All right, we're now passing the Ohio Turnpike exit, and this, was this Pearl Road would be the next exit. 532 down, 87 up. Uh, what is that, a T-Mobile site there? Lots of residential, lots of business in this area too. Good stuff from Verizon. Good uplink, really good uplink. Hey, what up, Mark? What's going on, bro? Hey, Stable, you ever come to North Carolina and find where there are millimeter wave for Verizon and T-Mobile? I don't, I don't know if does T-Mobile have millimeter wave in North Carolina? I'd be surprised if they did. Verizon definitely does because they'd have it in like Raleigh, probably some Durham, and probably Charlotte. I know in Greenville they do. Yeah, Verizon does millimeter wave everywhere. All right, cool. All right, we're getting off at the Pearl Road exit. Oh, that's a cool tower site. It's got high capacity gear on it. I don't know whose it is though. Is that T-Mobile or AT&T? I don't see that. I don't see this type of gear often, guys. Let me see if I can get you guys this view. I don't see this uh, this gear often. All right. What up now? <laughs> Nine point eight down and eleven up. So there's there's a weak test from Verizon. <laughs> oh man. Uplink's still pretty good. Downlink's kind of for downlink. That's pretty weak. Actually, you know what we'll do for you guys? I'm going to drive by a small cell for you guys. I jinxed you. <laughs> uh, there, okay, we just moved over to ultra-wideband, so we're good. Should start to see the speed and throughput pickup. Yeah, when you get those slower speeds, guys, you're, you're probably on the edge of a cell, right? You're about to hand off to another one. This comes with the territory. Dense networks, obviously, you get those less often. So, all right, we're press, passing Sprague Road. We're in Strongsville. All right, 117 down, 22 up for the Verazine. Uh, we're driving by a small cell, but we're probably not going to connect to it. And I'm going to tell you guys why. Uh, Verizon's configurations will default you to 5G ultra wideband. So if the small cell doesn't have 5G ultra wideband, you're probably going to stay connected to the macro and not the small cell, which kind of sucks, but that's just what we see. Yeah, so the small cells to my left, it's a all things LTE and DSS 5G small cell. So we're connecting to the macro. You guys will see. The small cell will be doing like 6700 on LTE. It's crazy. 318 down, 53 up. That's still pretty good. Yeah, this is... um. This is a major, major high capacity area. Uh, apartments, shopping centers, gas stations, businesses, tons of homes to my right. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. So Verizon has a couple of small cells here, plus their macros, pretty dense. That's it, guys. Did you enjoy the speed testing? <laughs> it was a good time, man. Enjoyed it. Um, what we're going to do is I'll probably make some clips of this. Uh, probably show some of the speed testing from all the carriers. Here's 318 down, 56 up. I'll run another one for Verizon. Um, hope you guys dig it. And um, please do like and share this content. If you guys want to help support us directly, you, you can support us. There's ways to do that. There's links in the description. You can become a YouTube member. You become a patron. I'll have all types of exclusive videos and content out there 
that I do on, on that side. Uh, YouTube members have that access too. Um, so that's something you could do. Uh, there's ways to donate to the channel if you appreciate the efforts and what we put together here on the channel. Uh, whether you like the commentary videos, the live streaming, the podcast, or, you know, whatever you do, we do a lot. So support your creators, keep them going, keep them caffeinated and motivated. Buy us a coffee. That link is in the description. <laughs> Shout out to the SMT Nation. Y'all are goaded, man. Thank you, guys. Um, we'll be on Patreon in like 15 minutes, 20 minutes. Uh, just give me some time to set up. Um, YouTube members, we'll see you guys there too. I posted the link. Uh, should be a go. Thanks for watching, folks. Like, share. If you're new here, subscribe for more and turn on the bell notifications so you never miss an upload. We out this piece. Peace.